tequila that I have on my head. It's like a S shape. I just feel like pain throughout the day. All right, let me look at it. No, I don't want you to look. Robert, you don't have to have an attitude. Every time it got removed, it just How kept going. How many times have you had it removed? Three. Okay. There is a doctor that I work with who is a scalp keloid specialist. Yes, I think we should give it a shot. Part of uh, what Dr. Umar wants to do is injecting a material there, right? That's derived from a uh, pork bladder. We want to attack the problem at multiple levels. So we're just going to use all available known methods to uh, minimize recurrence. You never know what can happen during surgery. And right now, we're running into the problem of having these very thick edges. We're changing our strategy here. You're wiggling around, you okay? Yeah, I just have to pee. You have to pee? Yeah. Mm. Hold on, we're almost there, we're almost there. Oh, no. You gotta hold it. Don't let's... Yes, okay, I got him. I got him. Watch out, watch out. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's like the best pee ever. Best pee ever. <laughs> I'm here with Robert, who has this huge snake-like keloid on the back of his head. This has been growing bigger despite three previous surgeries. So we've brought him to the keloid expert, Dr. Sanusi Umar, who's really gonna throw every keloid trick in the book at Robert. Dr. Umar has removed all the keloid, but the skin on the back of Robert's head is not cooperating with us completely. And just as we're changing up the surgical strategy here, he's gotta go to the bathroom. So this brings on a whole host of other problems. Robert's been on laughing gas, which makes him unsteady, and we're in the middle of a surgery. It's already bleeding, but it would certainly bleed more if he bumped and fell. I'm just very nervous during this procedure. Are they almost finished yet? Like, what's happening back there? Got my hand, and we hold you. This way. You're a pro. You're almost done. You're almost done. We got him. Thanks for letting me use the bathroom. Okay, the intermission is over. Time to get back to business. Dr. Umar decided to change his surgical strategy. The flap of skin that was created initially was not really cooperating. It was too folded. So we decided to make a graft instead, which is when we detach the tissue completely, but then it can be more easily and perfectly fit into the wound. But first, Dr. Umar is going to use these special techniques to really try to prevent this keloid from coming back. So now we're going to deploy some retention suture guards. These tension guards are distributing the stress along a wider area of the skin so that the actual suture itself is not going to tear and rip into your skin. All right, so we have this in place. Okay. Not no fat time. This fat has been filtered. You're only isolating intact nanoparticles, essentially. Correct. The fat that's been extracted from Robert's abdomen has been purified, and Dr. Umar is now taking that and injecting that into the wound. So we're essentially infusing this nano fat in the entire area, because we expect that to work in Robert's favor. OK. You're about to get the bacon, OK? The next big special technique that Dr. Umar is using to try to prevent this keloid from coming back is an extracellular matrix derived from pig bladder. It's like uh, Parmesan cheese. Yes, it is like Parmesan. We're trying to make it simple for Robert and not have his body think so hard. We don't want those cells to go crazy and create this enormous extra scar tissue that is a keloid. We're gonna really provide the basis for him, an extracellular matrix so that the skin can just come in and heal really nicely right over that. So these three things together, these cutting edge techniques that Dr. Umar is using are going to prevent these keloids from ever coming back. But now we have a surgery to finish. So now let's put on the grafts. Dr. Umar's next step is the skin graft. 
This is when he's taking pieces from the keloid, he's debulked the skin off the keloid and using those pieces of superficial skin to really fit into the areas of the wound like a puzzle. There you go, that goes there. Trying to fit, make sure it all fits in there. Okay, give me the switch on. Now, as far as the stitching goes right now, we're just trying to get the best color and aesthetic look we can get. It's delicate because the tissue we're dealing with is not very even, so we're having to work with what we have. It's like a patchwork. It's a patchwork. I have closed the wound, and the next stage is to make sure that the graft is completely flush and adherent to the wound bed. Is it like iodine-soaked gauze there? Correct. This dressing is put in place along the whole graft area to keep it pushed down so that the graft will always touch the skin, because that's the only way that it's going to have a chance to survive. Since Robert's keloid has returned after surgery three times before, He's also going to undergo three rounds of radiation. Our fingers are so crossed that he's going to heal up okay. Good job, Dr. Umar. Thank you. And good job. Good Robert. job, Robert. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Because of the liposuction, it feels like uh, I did like 6,000 sit ups. I'm just in, you know, a lot of pain. What hurts? The whole tummy in general? Oh. It just feels like mm -hmm. I did a million crunches or something. It does. <laughs> Hey, you are such a badass. Let me just tell you, you did so well. Your girlfriend, uh -huh. do you want me to bring her back in here soon? Or you sure, she wants to. I'm, I'm going to replace my hand with hers, OK? OK. Hold on. Hi, do you want to come back and see yeah. him? He's he says he feels like he did a, a ton of crunches because he, he, he they did a little liposuction here. So it's oh, just a little sore okay. on the tummy, OK? Coming through here. Let's go around here and see him. Grab his hand here. There's Nye. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. You okay? Yeah. Seeing him laid out on the table and he was shivering. I got like definitely really worried because I didn't know why he was shivering, but I was also very excited just to see his face and see that he was actually okay. I'm so proud of you. Thanks. I have a picture of the area. Holy which crap. Is fantastic. Right. That's crazy. Oh my god, yeah, it oh, looks even better in photos. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 It looks way better than it was before. Yeah. Right after the surgery, it never looks wonderful. There's stitches there, there was bleeding, there's iodine there. So it looks a little bit messy, but that's all really by design. Once it starts to heal, it will look really great. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Yeah, you did too. such a good job. Wow. Like, it just is it's gone. A uh, stem of excitement just went through my body. Um, just to know that, hey, like, it, it's, it's out of, it's off your head. Do you know how many things Dr. Umar did to make sure that this doesn't come back? Like, five different things. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the sixth factor is Robert himself. Yes. So. Today's process was definitely an experience I'll never forget. Dr. Umar and Dr. Lee made me feel comfortable, and I'm just grateful for everybody that helped. Hi, Dr. Wuchu. Thank you so much for oh this. My God. I so appreciate All right, you uh... being, you know, helping us here. I couldn't have done it without you, certainly. The longest time ever. <laughs> Waiting for you. Sorry. You say sorry. It's not your fault. I was just worried. I'm very hopeful that this is the last surgery that I ever will have to do for the Kilo. I was judged for so long, and I was, you know, made fun of for so long, and I itch every day. I. I have headaches every day, and just to know that, you know, something that caused that is actually removed from me makes me feel very, very happy. I want to say to Dr. Lee and Dr. Umar, thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I've been waiting for this a long time. Good. <laughs> I'm saving that, okay? Seeing it actually gone is like a dream. After my procedure with Dr. Lee and Dr. Umar, I came back again to see Dr. Lee so that she can take off the keloid on my ear. Make sure I'm never hurting you, as you know. 
she definitely did a great job. Oh, wow. Oh, your ear looks so cute. <laughs> and now it's three months later, and my head keloid and ear keloid are removed, and I feel great. I never thought this would happen because it's come back worse every time I tried to remove it. I'm definitely a lot happier. Before this, I had no hope. And now, I feel a lot more confidence that I will be able to move forward in my life. It was difficult having headaches all the time, itching all the time. Now my confidence level is definitely at a 10. I just feel great overall. Hey, babe. Hey. Got you some flowers. Oh, you got me flowers. And they smell good. Nye has been my rock since my surgery. Now that I'm feeling happier and confident, we're closer than ever. I'm just excited to see like where what else we have for the future, especially getting married, because I'm ready. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Going through this process, I thought that you know my keloids will always be with me forever, but my keloids not coming back. Dr. Umar's special treatments did the trick. Dr. Umar definitely is a skin wizard in my eyes. Yo, what's going on, y'all? Nice to, nice to meet you. Now that I feel so much better, I've been writing and recording new songs. I know it's for the better, but it's making me upset. I gotta stay in good health. Also, I've been shooting videos. He Lloyd took the shine off of me. Dr. Lee and Dr. Umar definitely created a miracle. And just to know that I'm going to be okay in the future is just great. Just pray for me when you see this, please. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs>